In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the WordPress menus for the social portfolio theme. So in this theme, we have two primary menu areas. We have the title bar, which is up here, and then we have the buddy panel, which is the left panel here. So here we are in appearance menus. We're going to create a new one called title bar. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just calling it that so it's simpler. And then we can add some, uh, some items in there. So we've got three items. Let's save it. And we'll sign that to the title bar theme location. Okay, so here we go. We've got that added up here. Now let's go to the buddy panel. So we're going to create a new menu called buddy panel. And let's add some pages in here as well. And let's go ahead and make one of them a drop down here. We'll add another one like that too. And we'll make that a drop down. And then let's add one more. And then we're going to assign this to the buddy panel menu area. Save that. And then when we refresh it, you can see we've got our two things, our two items, and we've got uh, some drop downs, some flyouts. And if we minimize it, they fly out nicely like this as well. Okay, so let me show you if we go into screen options, you'll see if you have um, our BP portfolio and our BP portfolio pro plugins enabled, you'll get a new box here for social portfolio. And that gives you some cool things. So for example, um, you can have my projects, my works in progress, my collections, and you can add those to the menu. And these are going to be dynamic links. And you could also go in here, projects, works in progress, and you can, if, if you have some added, you can add individual ones. But these are pretty cool. They're dynamic, meaning they link to your own profile. Let me refresh that. So I can go to, for example, my works in progress, and it's going to take me to that part of my profile. And any logged in user, it's going to work. And then one last thing I'll show you is how to change the icons in here. You can make them whatever you want. So we're going to go to Font Awesome. And we include the Font Awesome icon set. So let's just pick an icon at random. How about Bicycle? Okay. So you just copy the class that they give you. And then here in Screen Options, um, You'd want to toggle CSS class to be enabled. And then you could go to one of these items and just add that class in there. Okay, so let me refresh that. You can see we added it into the CSS class area. And if I refresh it here, sure enough, we get that icon here. So every one of these menus, you can add the icon. We can also make the layout mobile. And you'll see everything working in here, our menus that we've added and the profile menu in the right, we have one more option I'll show you, which is if we go into our theme options, and go into layout, for the mobile options, we have an option to take the uh, title bar links and display them in the left panel. So I'll say display below other links. And what that's gonna do is take these links and display them on the left side if we're on mobile. So let's refresh that and you'll see groups, members, activity that worked. And that's it.